Hello, I'm Major General Neil Hersey, Commanding General of the United States Army Cyber Center of Excellence in Fort Gordon. On behalf of the entire Fort Gordon team, I want to sincerely welcome you to CyberQuest 2020. CyberQuest is a collaborative exercise that brings together military, industry, academia, and government partners to examine how cyberspace capabilities are emerging with our military forces. The U.S. Army is in the process of modernizing its forces' warfighting capabilities, including the cyberspace domain and the electromagnetic spectrum. CyberQuest was designed in 2016 as an annual functional assessment exercise to inform technical solutions and material changes for critical capability areas that faced cyber, electronic warfare, and signal operational forces. CyberQuest live experimentation activities assess possible solutions for capability areas in support of multi-domain operations that then help shape our modernization priorities. With Army Futures Command direction, CyberQuest outcomes drive requirements and concepts, inform rapid acquisition initiatives, and support acquisition risk reduction activities with the clear intent to support the multi-domain operations warfighter. In 2020, we have 15 vendors on Fort Gordon evaluating 16 technologies along with the 10th Mountain Division, the Marine Corps Warfighting Lab, the 82nd Airborne, Army Futures Command, TRADOC organizations, and several Fort Gordon organizations represented. All of these groups are here for the same purpose, to solve really tough Army problems. We are here to learn from and challenge industry, academia, government, and military teammates to rapidly develop and acquire capabilities that will help us shape competition and win in conflict. We are in competition every day, on our networks and in the electromagnetic spectrum. We fight threats to government networks each minute of every day and understand all too well these are critical arenas for current and future conflict. The threat and attempts of cyber attack has never been as potentially catastrophic as they are today. And the reality is, it will only get worse. Cyber, electronic warfare, and signal forces and capabilities greatly benefit from CyberQuest. The efforts during the exercise support Army warfighting and modernization priorities and enable commanders across multi-domain formations to seize initiatives and pose multiple dilemmas to opposing forces. Motivated individuals in near-peer nation states possess impressive capabilities in the cyberspace domain. They can hide their true intentions and they can degrade our ability to conduct mission command. Unless we continuously evolve in this space, it is likely we will lose the ability to shape the fight at the time and place of our choosing. CyberQuest is important really in three major areas. Uh, if you acknowledge up front that the industry does the majority of the innovation uh, for the cyber signal uh, technologies, then CyberQuest is important from a standpoint is that we link industry to our capability managers and their requirements. So with CyberQuest, it's a year-long process uh, we send out a broad area announcement to industry, giving them our learning demands that will inform our capabilities uh, managers and their requirements documents. Uh, it's a un unique event in that way. There are not other exercises or experiments that really get after the in-depth uh, learning demands that we provide to industry. So really, one, number one, it informs our capabilities documents. Uh, number two, it aligns industry with our future capabilities and it helps them adjust their R&D to meet the Army requirements. So when we're looking at MDO and the future war that the Army could fight with our near-peer adversaries, we've got to align industry and their innovation to meet our requirements. And that's the other second important part of CyberQuest. The third part is that, that really we do uh, identify technologies that, that may go into rapid acquisition. Uh, we've had some success stories in the past where we had some uh, capabilities that were not uh, available to our force and through CyberQuest we identified uh, those, those technologies and we were able to, to link uh, the rapid acquisition force to those technologies and we were able to field uh, those technologies to our force. 
So in those three areas, CyberQuest is unique in that sense and no other event in the Army that really gets to the in-depth uh, experimentation that aligns industry to the capability managers. By leveraging industry innovation, we can rapidly acquire capabilities and get them into the hands of our soldiers. The tools, technologies, and techniques required for mission success in the cyberspace domain are perpetually evolving, and no one organization has a total solution to any challenge. We must learn by doing. That is why the U.S. Army's Cyber Center of Excellence, based here at Fort Gordon, created CyberQuest. So CyberQuest 20 really allows us to uh, look at innovative solutions from industry uh, and academia, partnering with uh, defense in order to find uh, capability solutions, uh, inform requirements to help the warfighter of the future. Partnership between the Australian Army and US Army and our joint partners in the Marine Corps that are also with us this year on CyberQuest is hugely important. It allows me as a, an exchange officer to see US um, industry solutions, work with the US Army and of course as an allied partner and coalition partner, it's obviously key to the way we work together in the future. Realism is delivered using fielded program of record network capabilities, a live brigade combat team tactical operations center, a live dismounted maneuver force, an active cyber red team, and a full modeling and simulation wrap. This allows us to effectively evaluate the full range of cyberspace domain capabilities from man pack electronic warfare to offensive cyber. I want to thank all of our exercise participants for your collaboration and extend a special thank you to our industry partners. Without your innovation, technology, and partnership, we would not be where we are today. We know your participation has been impacted by COVID-19 and really appreciate your dedication to this mission your willingness to trust our collaborative approach, iterate technologies on the fly, and adapt to the operational input generates new solutions and emerging capabilities for our Army. So thank you. Even though we are operating in this new normal, we must still continue our vital mission for the U.S. Army and the Department of Defense. Forge and project power, people first, winning matters, victory starts here. Army strong, thank you.